What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have sort of a brand new concept for you guys. I thought this was a pretty interesting video. Now, I did get inspired to do this video by BDE. I believe it is Brandon Does Everything. He did a very similar video to this, but involving 2K22 or WWE 2K. It's WWE 2K22, but I can only draft one wrestler per letter. So I figured take that concept, bring it into the figure world, and do WWE figure draft, but I can only draft one wrestler per letter. So I came up with a cool idea. We're gonna go letter by letter, A through Z, but I do have a few little special uh, little asterisk rules. So like if I'm on N, I can pick a full tag team because I gotta have tag teams to fill out our championship belt. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have four championships. We're gonna fill up the championships and then we're gonna make a WrestleMania style card with all of the wrestlers and championships that we end up drafting from the draft. So again, I can draft full factions, full tag teams if I pick a certain letter. Like I said, New Day. If, I, if I'm on N and I draft New Day, then I get Kofi, Biggie, and Xavier. So, that's the rules I'm going with right there. Now, I don't know exactly who the hell I'm going to draft. I'm just going to go letter by letter and explain myself with who I got. And then, at the end, of course, we're going to go through my champions and my WrestleMania card on who I think, you know, try to make the best card possible out of our draftees. So, with all that being said, man, let's dive into our WWE figure draft through the alphabet. Now, starting off with the letter A, I had a few different people that I was thinking of, but I think off the cuff, man, I think we got to go with AJ Styles, right? You got to go with AJ Styles, one of the GOATs, one of the best wrestlers in the world. I think he's a solid pick for, you know, he's, he's going to add to your roster immediately. So AJ Styles, I don't think you could go by A without including AJ Styles. Moving into B territory, man, I was between a couple wrestlers. I thought Bobby Lashley, I thought a couple other guys, but at the end of the day, man, you got to go with Brock Lesnar. You got to go with the Beast Incarnate. I thought about going with Batista as well, but I think that Brock adds a ton of superstardom, ton of athleticism to our roster. I like Brock Lesnar right here for our second pick with letter B, which takes us into letter C, which had a ton of different guys. A ton of guys that I was mulling over, but I think I'm gonna go with CM Punk. New AEW match figure right there. I like this. Uh, yeah, just a lot of star power. We're going heavy on star power. I'd like to have a stacked roster. I gotta have a really good WrestleMania card at the end of this, man, so I gotta go with CM Punk. For my D letter, man, Man, this one was interesting. Again, a lot of guys you could have picked here, but at the end of the day, I went with Darby Allen, man. I went with Darby Allen. I think this is a really good pick here for letter D. Underrated talent, but I wanted to have some AEW guys in here, some dream match scenarios possibly, so I'm going Darby Allen for my letter D. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I, I spent all day on letter E, and honestly, now that I'm looking at it, I probably should have picked somebody else, but I could not think of anybody for the letter I, so my dumbass just went with War Machine. Machine, bro. I'm not talking Viking Raiders, man. I'm going War Machine. I got Eric and Ivar. I know it's garbage. I really didn't want to do it. I really did. I didn't know what else to do. I thought Eddie Guerrero and stuff like that, but I couldn't think of a letter I, man. I could not think of a letter I. So I mean, I, the pressure was on, man. The clock was ticking down on me, and I went with War Machine. I know it sucks, but it's it's what we got to do. They're a good tag team, though. So I, I, you know what? If they're War Machine, it's great. Any other iteration of them in WWE is terrible. But we're just gonna have to build a bridge and get over it, which takes us into letter F for now. Again, I and E are taken care of now. F is going to be my man, Finn Balor. You thought I was going to leave Finn Balor out of my draft. You're out of your damn mind, Brad. We're going Finn Balor with the letter F. For G, kind of cheating here, Brad. But uh, he didn't go by this name no more. But or or he did. I, I picked Walter, but it's, it's Gunther. You know, I, whatever. I had to do it. I had to do it. You know, he was all only G I could really think of or the G that I wanted to put there. So I went with Gunther. I'll take him at Gunther, I guess, if it, if it gets me through the alphabet here. For the letter H. I really didn't have any other choice, man. I have to go Hardy Boys. You gotta go Hardy Boys. You gotta fill up that tag team division right there. Now we got two solid tag teams to work with as we grind it out. I like this right here. I, I, I like the Hardy Boys here. I get Matt and Jeff together. Maybe one last little tag team run for the letter H. Moving on, we're skipping over I. We're going straight to J because we did get Ivar. For the letter J, it's the GOAT. I had to go with the GOAT. We went with John Cena. I think it speaks for itself. Lots of guys we could have picked, but I gotta go with the GOAT. I gotta go with my favorite of all time, John Cena, right there at that spot. Speaking of which, getting into the K's, now you guys know I'm a massive Kevin Owens fan. I'm a huge, I'm the biggest Kevin Owens guy you'll find. But with K, I had to go Kenny Omega, man. I had to go Kenny Omega just for some star-studded matchups that we could possibly get. I had to go Kenny Omega at the K spot. It pained me to do it, but I had to do it. For the letter L, man, I thought this was a steal. It's something that we had to do. Again, we're trying to build one full-fledged roster full of tag teams and stuff. For the letter L, I went with Lucha Bros. 
Bros. We got the Lucha Brothers in here, Ray Phoenix, we got Pentagon. Great, great tag team to fill up our tag division. I think this is a nice little spot right there. I will split these guys up so you guys will see our separate divisions, and we are going to crown our champions at the end of the draft, so stay tuned. But moving on to the letter M, I guess it's not technically cheating, man, because this is what he goes by now. I went with Malachi Black. I went, I went Malachi Black. I thought this was a great superstar spot right here. No doubt about it. Alistair slash Malachi Black is my letter M, and I'm happy with that decision. All right, for, I know a lot of people are going to be like, what the hell, Brad? But for the letter N, I'm going NWO. I went Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, and Hollywood Hogan, man. I went NWO. I, I got a full faction right here, man. I like this. I like this pick right here. Again, man, we're going for that Super Ultra Mania card. I got to have some star-studded talent. I got to bring some guys. Again, man, this is supposed to be like, you know, everybody's able to go in the ring. Every, you know, it's fantasy here. I'm trying to build a crazy fantasy card, and that is not possible without NWO. I think we got some cool matchups and stuff on paper that a lot of people would like to see. Speaking of which, we're going into the letter O, and there's literally not a lot of O's, man. So you know what we got? Freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy coming in at my letter O spot. Coming in at the P, we got Pete Dunn. I know he goes by Butch now, but we're none of that, Brad. It's Pete Dunn for me. Pete Dunn is a part of my roster now. All right, to be real with you, I couldn't, I, I looked it up. I couldn't find a Q, man. I didn't have a Q, so this is kind of a wild card here. I'm going to give myself a free pass here, and I'm going to take Rob Van Dam with my pass. The next letter in the alphabet after Q is R, so I went with Rob Van Dam. I thought that kept it decently fair because there's no Qs, so I went with Rob Van Dam there at the letter R. And then we are going to go to the letter R because we got the asterisk wild card with the letter Q. For the letter R, you think I got Randy Orton? You'd be right, Brad, but I also got Edge because we're going rated RKO, bro. I went rated RKO with my pick here at the letter R spot. Beautiful tag team matching gear there. I think they're going to do nice on our WrestleMania card, so I went ahead and picked up two superstar talents there in Edge and Randy Orton. For the letter S, oh my good God in heaven, Brad. You probably already know what I did, and you're damn right I did, Brad. I went Shield. I went Shield. I went Roman Reigns. I went Seth Rollins, and I went John Moxley. All in black matching gear. Kind of updated looks at him. I know that Roman has like the blue gauntlet there, but that is my S pick. I went with the Shield, man. I, and I'm not going to go with, you know, T for the Shield or the Undertaker or the Miz. You know what I'm saying? So I went right there with it. I went with the Shield. At the T spot, I just have this ugly basic Triple H because I didn't feel like getting my Triple H's down. But I went with Triple H. Triple H is my letter T. I went with Triple H. One of my favorites of all time. Fits perfectly there at the letter T. And speaking of Triple H and NXT, we are on the letter U. So do you know what I did, Brad? I got the Undertaker. I'm just kidding i went undisputed era i got adam cole i got bobby fish i got kyle o'reilly and i got roderick strong i picked up the full undisputed era with my u pick i felt like you know you got to be smart in these things look how big my roster is now look how much full-fledged roster space i got now i can create a full-fledged card with all these guys now because i expanded upon what i had and for the letter v i did not have vader i don't have a vader figure so i literally had no other choice brad i had to draft viscera I had to draft Viscera. I put Viscera on this star-studded packed roster. Now, could he join a faction or something? Maybe, but good God in heaven, I do not really have a spot for the guy. But uh, it's all I had. It's all I had. I had to take Viscera at the V spot. Moving on to W. Do you guys know? want to know what I went with? You know I had to do it, man. I went with my boy Wardlow. I went with Wardlow. There was a lot of options that we could have went with. Uh, some good guys here and there, but I think Wardlow is, is who I want to see on my roster. I'm a big fan of the guy, and uh, hopefully we can get him a good little push here. I got Wardlow on my roster now. And that takes us into the last three picks which for X it is going to be Xavier Woods. It was either him or X-Pac. I felt like Xavier Woods gave us a, a higher chance of success. And with our Y pick, you probably already know man, it's going to be Matt and Nick Jackson. It is going to be the Young Bucks with the letter Y. Adding to the tag team division just adding a couple more tag teams here. I think our roster is stacked as shish man. I'm really excited to show you guys this, this wrestling card. But for the letter Z, I did not do Z because uh, I went Z for Ziggler. I went Z for Ziggler, man. It's just what I did. You know what? They call him Ziggler. It, it's Ziggler. I, I went Z for Ziggler, and I drafted my man Dolph Ziggler. So that is my full roster. What a beautiful roster. I'm super hyped for this roster. Now I'm going to show you guys the championships we're going to use, and then I'm going to dive into who the champions are and what our WrestleMania card is going to be. All right, man, so for my championships, we've got the coveted MDT championship as our main title. we got a couple mid-card titles. I went with my 
my United States Championship right here. I went with my Extreme Championship for fun matchups. And last but not least, I went with the MDT World Tag Team Championships in the pink right here. So that is my championships. We're going to crown the champions, and I'm going to get into this card and showcase you guys my full entire WrestleMania card using our Alphabet Drafted WWE Action Figure Roster. All right, man, the first matchup on my card, I utilized some of these singles, and I got them in a Money in the Bank ladder match on my WrestleMania, man. I got Xavier Woods, Malachi Black, Dolph Ziggler, Orange Cassidy, Finn Balor, Pete Dunne, and Gunther slash Walter, of course, had to use the letter G there. So this is my Money in the Bank matchup. I figured, you know, what better place than WrestleMania for a Money in the Bank ladder match. I think it perfectly encapsules a WrestleMania moment. So this is my Money in the Bank match. Wanted to utilize a lot of that single talent give them something to do here utilizing all that talent here throwing them in a money in the bank opportunity here at wrestlemania my next matchup on my card man is going to be wardlow and brock lesnar a matchup i would absolutely enjoy brock lesnar and wardlow you guys know how much i love these two guys so them two you know two behemoths of grown-ass men going head-to-head -head here in a colossal matchup just a hard-hitting son of a gun between two athletic freaks of nature i mean that's that's basically what we're going to witness here I, I do not know who would win i don't know what the hell would go on man but i would love to see it booked. So I got Wardlow and Brock Lesnar locking up at WrestleMania out of my figure draft. Next up, one-on-one, -on -one, we have the Extreme Championship on the line. RVD going one-on-one -on -one with Darby Allen. What, what a great fantasy dream matchup that this would be. You could have a death match, hardcore match, extreme raw. It doesn't really matter. No DQ. It doesn't matter, man. This one on paper has the makings of Legendary, and I think just their two styles clashing would be incredible. So th this has to be a Mania match for me, man. I had to take advantage of this with the talent that I had, and I, I, I I think this just kind of writes itself. Next up, we have the United States Championship match. AJ Styles taking on CM Punk. I like this matchup a lot right here. Legendary status, mid-card championship. Not quite the main, but I think it uh, it sells itself. You don't even need the championship for this one, but I figured with all that singles talent over there and that Money in the Bank ladder match, you know, get two more key stars out here battling for a championship at WrestleMania. This makes the most sense to me. Uh, I'd love to witness this, and I had to put it together here for, for this match card. All right, man, now we have the MDT World Tag Team Championships, the Hardy Boys defending against Rated RKO, the Young Bucks, and the Lucha Bros. A four-corner elimination tag team match between these four teams would be incredible. If we didn't have the Money in the Bank ladder match, I'd say just make it a big old ladder match, but I, I like this. I like this a lot right here. Four corners, all teams going at it. Elimination style, you know, the, it, pinfall by pinfall, one guy would be eliminated for each team until we were down to, you know, the numbers game, you know, and it may come down to two on one one on one who the hell knows but this matchup would be incredible i had to put it together i think this is four great teams going to war and it, it, again just with all that tag team talent we have we got to make one big marquee matchup right here our second to last matchup is going to be this faction war man just a triple threat multi-man tag team match undisputed era versus nwo versus the shield fantasy matchup if i've ever seen it man this is one of those that people would you know dream match absolute dream match between these three factions Maybe this could be a elimination match and the other one could just be regular pinfall, you know, with the four corners. I don't know. You guys can let me know, but this would be legendary. I, I would love to see it. You got kind of like your old legends versus your rising stars versus your, your, you know, your indie darlings. It's kind of just that beautiful mesh together of a storied matchup. I think this would be really beautiful to see. And uh, I like this. I like this a lot. I would love to see this play out. And for our main event, MDT Championship on the line, Kenny Omega taking on John Cena. The fantasy matchup of all fantasy matchups gotta do it you got john cena you got kenny omega both on roster you have to book this matchup and it has to come to fruition so i put it for all the marbles main event kenny omega versus john cena yeah that's yeah that's that's about what i'm thinking right there man that's just beautiful television right there let me know down below how you would have drafted man i, I had a ton of fun doing this I, I again a huge shout out to bde for the idea and just kind of the inspiration behind it maybe we can do this in the future again maybe create some different rules for the draft and stuff like that if you have any ideas or anything down in the comment section below man please let me know but had a ton of fun with this again this is definitely my main event i love this on paper again all these matchups would be incredible i think it's a wrestlemania card i think we did pretty well here you guys can let me know how i did down in the comment section below maybe we can make a challenge out of it and see if i could challenge some you know maybe my wife or maybe my brother can get in here and we can you know go one-on-one -on -one and see who can draft the best wrestlemania card using one letter you know and uh go all the way down i don't know but before we get out of here man let's get into our random shout out and for today's shout out is going to go to austin hunt who says if suited cody is this good. I can't wait for Omega, Mr. Brody Lee, Malachi Black, or the announcers. And that is true, man. That Cody figure was unbelievable from Unmatched Series 4, and it was a suited body. And you guys know we have a lot of suited bodies coming soon, like you mentioned.
Hamilton right there from Austin Hunt there. Yeah, we have a lot of suit of bodies coming soon. I hope they're as good as that one because Jesus, man, I love that figure. It was a ton of fun to pose around, ton of fun to, uh, you know, play around with. Can't wait to, you know, get more usage out of it. It's great and I can't wait for more figures to come, man. But huge shout out to Austin for the comment, man. I'm getting the hell out of here. Let me know how I did down below in my alphabet draft for WWE action figures. I guess AEW as well, but you guys get the point. I'm getting out of here, man. Have a blessed one. Let me know what you think down below and I'll see you guys next time. You cross